And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the count if and sum if functions as well as the pivot tables. Uh, for the pivot table, this is the basics of it. Uh, you may experiment with it a little bit more given the data and uh, kind of improve your uh, skills. With Let's say I, I was asked the question of what is the amount of sales um, for each salesperson. Right. And in this data set, I have the transaction ID, salesperson name, last name, the region, account number, sales amount, and month. Right. First of all, I need to figure out how many uh, salespeople are there. So I just copied and um, pasted here. And then I can go to the data and remove the duplicates because it seems uh, one salesperson may have multiple transactions. So I have total of eight uh, salesperson and uh, now I can do the rest of the calculation so it wasn't asked but let me get the number of transactions number of uh, transaction per salespeople person for that I'm gonna use the count if right count if and the formula is I need to give the range and then the criteria this is my range, the salesperson column, and my criteria is that it needs to be equal to this name, right? The El Paso Christi. When I do that, it is for six transactions, and then uh, for the others, I can just copy and paste, right? The next one is let's get the sales amount. This time, I need to basically add uh, these sales quant uh, dollars. Uh, for person as I go uh, so I can do 670 um, and then uh, another one is here 1500 and so forth of course that's kind of challenging uh, a better way could be using the sum if All right this time uh, my range is again this value the name because I'm gonna kind of calculate based on that if statement my criteria is the name needs to be equal to that and then the sum range is these values the sales amounts right here we go and copy and paste it here now this is kind of a I guess structured way of course I could also do a few other things including sorting my data based on the salesperson uh, and that way i could look into like oh this is three people and then calculate the sum for each one of them uh, for this person these are the uh, sales amounts and so forth but that is even still very manual process so we like to kind of uh, do it fast especially think about having uh, perhaps more salesperson and more uh, transactions right so this is uh i guess it's still automated but not as flexible as we would like to know for example if somebody asks me what is the uh, sales amount per region then i have to go through this process one more time identify the regions and then do the uh, calculations again right uh, so if we want don't want to repeat all those calculations we could use pivot tables so i'm just selecting the basically the data set I had and then go to the insert and add a pivot table it's a good idea to add a pivot table as, as a new worksheet it makes your life easier let me do that all right so uh, our question was what is the sales per, uh, amount per sales uh, sales amount per salesperson so uh, on the rows I wanted to have salesperson name and then sales amounts are the values so here it is right so it was really straightforward of course i could do a little bit more details for example if i want to know the uh, values per month i can ju just do that so these are the sales per october november and grand total i can go uh, divide by regions right so for example right now it is all for regions and if i want to let's say know what is the east texas there are two salesperson uh, north uh, only one person south texas 
uh, three employees and so forth so i can generate all these basically reports quickly right so let's say i'm gonna remove this one and that one right so this is the thing i could also uh, calculate the counts for that i can just remove this one so i had the count as um, here so i can change this um, value field to many different things so i can have the sum count the average max mean and i can even do the variance and so forth for it right so for us it was the count right so uh, these are the counts of or the number of transactions and these are the sales amount and of course i can edit these things uh, saying this is the number of transactions and then say this is the total sales all right so i could just do that all right now uh, one of the nice thing about excel is uh, visualizing the data so we can use that visualization charts basically for pivot tables as well so let's uh, to do that go to the pivot table tools at the pivot chart choose what type of a chart you want let's say i want to use this uh, one right so at this time uh, i'm given the number of transactions and total sales amount because these are not scaled properly it looks like really nothing so let me actually remove the number of transaction from the table right um, now uh, we said we can do look into this one in different ways here's my month so i added the month divided the sales base, uh, per month right uh, i can also look into the region as a report thing function uh, here's my figure here for per employee sales amounts and so forth so uh, idea here is that uh, pivot tables are a very strong tool to analyze the data 